For my last Halloween video, I decided to jump on the bandwagon and do an American Horror Story freak show tutorial. Now, this look isn't exactly like what you'll see in the show, but I was inspired by quite a few pictures on Pinterest, so I brainstormed and this was the result. So let's get started. I first applied my foundation with this F88 brush from Sigma. I chose the Makeup Forever HD foundation because I really wanted a flawless porcelain finish to my skin. And here you'll see I'm priming my eyelids for the eyeshadow. Next I'm filling in my eyebrows. I used the Spiked Brow Pencil from MAC. I chose this one because I really wanted them to be dark and dramatic. Then I'm tracing around them with the Prolong Wear Concealer from MAC. On an E35 brush from Sigma, I'm going to work Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek into my crease. Then very lightly, I'm going to take Mocha from Makeup Geek and deepen up the outer corner. With any kind of pencil brush, I'm taking a matte black shadow and doing a sort of cut crease outer V type deal and just really making that dramatic and then blending it out with that mocha color. Underneath my brow, I'm mixing Shroom from MAC and Shimma Shimma from Makeup Geek. I'm taking glitter glue from Too Faced and patting this all over my eyelid, and then taking Champagne Wishes from Lit Cosmetics and packing that glitter all over my lid. Next, on a Sigma eyeliner brush, I'm taking the Inglot Gel Liner and giving myself a very dramatic wing. On the other eye, I decided to kind of mimic what I did in my Sugar Skull tutorial. And in the center, I'm taking Jilted from the Electric Palette from Urban Decay. And then I'm taking Urban on the inner and outer corners. Then with the Sigma Shader Brush, you can mark out basically the shape that you want on that side and then blend that black color into these colors here. For the points, I switched to my Krylon color wheel just so that they were more defined. I grabbed some concealer just to sharpen up those lines. Moving back to the other eye, in my waterline I took the Milk Jumbo Pencil from NYX Cosmetics and really worked that in and rubbed it on my lashes. And then I carried that down into a point underneath my eye and set it with a matte white eyeshadow. And blended it out with a pencil brush using a matte gray eyeshadow. Then I defined the tip with the black color from the Kryolan color wheel. Then using that black color again, I decided to mirror that image up on the top. I'm adding eyeliner to the other eye and I'm also using a pencil in the waterline. Moving on to the face, I took the Anastasia Contour Kit and I used the lightest shade on a pencil brush to mark out the contour. 
Then you can blend it in and you really want to fade it from the darker to the lighter color. Then I'm adding some lashes. I'm using the Siren Lashes from House of Lashes. I'm using these on both sides. And then on the bottom of the one eye, I took these Cryolon Lashes. These were the same ones that I used in my Ice Queen tutorial. For the nose, I used that Kryolan color wheel and applied it with this lip brush from Sigma. And I just made the shape and then I set it with a red matte eyeshadow. And then you can take any kind of black or brown and shade it so it looks more three-dimensional. Apply something sticky, I used spirit gum because I didn't want to waste my glitter glue. And while that got tacky, I decided to work on the lips. So first I went in with this NYX Cosmetics Macaroon Lippy, but it was way too bright. So I covered it up with the Kryolan Color Wheel, just the blue that was in there. Then you can go back to the nose and add some glitter. This was from Joanne Fabrics. It's that cheap set that I was talking about. Then I added this blue from that same set and put it on my lips. You don't need a glitter adhesive just because the lips are already kind of wet and so it just sticks right to it. Then I'm taking a matte black eyeshadow on this short shader brush from Sigma and I'm deepening up the lips on the outer parts so that it gives it some more dimension. On the neck, I just created stripes because I wanted to mimic the effect of the circus tent. So you can see here, I'm just taking the Kryolan color wheel and I took the white, made the stripes, and then I filled them in with the white, and then I filled them in with the red. Then on an E35 brush from Sigma, take a matte black shade and just blend it in, shade it. I kind of wanted it to look a little bit messy because circus tents aren't really clean. They're actually kind of distressed and worn looking, so that's the look I was going for. Then around the jawline, take that mocha color from Makeup Geek and blend it out so it goes from the black to the brown to your face color. And then on the points of these lines, I added these jewels from Michaels. Then by the lips, I just added some of that Kryolan black color and winged out the corners of my mouth, kind of like a clown. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys like this video. I had so much fun this season creating all of these Halloween looks. If you want to see my latest one, just click this box right here. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my new videos that I have coming out soon. And I will see you guys in my next video.